Good evening, Adam here. Today I want to do a brief tutorial on how to receive notifications when tasks are complete. So by default, Teams is not set up in a way to send a notification when a task is complete. So for example, if I was to go into this general channel, tasks, and send you know, a test task to somebody, let's just send it to myself right now, the person who receives the task, except for me, of course, for whatever reason, it doesn't send a notification if it's your own task. All right, but if you send it to somebody else, you will get a little activity ding here, which will tell you that you have something new to do, and then you can go into tasks by planner and actually complete the task. However, whenever you mark it as done, it just disappears. And nobody is told that a task is done. And for managers and owners and sort of team leaders, it's pretty important to know when something's done. You know, you could go the old-fashioned way of sending an email or maybe manually posting the chat channel. I should say, tag myself, hey, Adam, it's done. You could do it that way. I Or, since we're trying to do things the uh, automated way, that's sort of the whole point of using the Microsoft system, there is a way to set up a power automation to basically do this automatically. And honestly, this functionality should be available out of the box. It is a little bit cumbersome, but there is a way to input uh, or import a direct link, uh, which will do 90% of the work for you. And then it's just a little bit of trial and error after that. So let's just say, let me create a new channel for this example. And let's just say uh, YouTube testing channel. And then we'll just put it on the channel list. And then we will add, and just so you know, you have to pin tasks by planner into your sidebar off of this if you haven't done that already. I uh, Let's add a task by planner tab to this channel and make a new plan. So this, this channel is gonna have its own plan. So YouTube tasks plan. We'll save it. And now this is our plan that we want to get email and channel notifications whenever something's complete. We want it to happen automatically. So I'm gonna click on the link, which I will send and put in the comments. I'll basically give you a direct link that you can click on. So let's just go in and let's see. All right. So that's the link. It's a basically an exported Power Automate link. And you're going to see it's, it's already telling you exactly what it's going to do. It's going to send a notification and post a message to Teams channel whenever a, planner, a planner task is complete. So you need to have, you need to be logged into Teams, Microsoft 365, your planner, and then I, it'll, it'll send off notifications. So we will continue in this page. And this looks a little bit intimidating. I, I will admit it. It is a little bit intimidating. But let me walk you through each one of these because most of the hard work's already done. So when task is complete, that's asking us which group and which plan we want to trigger this flow, this automation. So I have two different groups. I have, well, actually, I think I have like five different groups, whatever. <laughs> so I've created this playground group for the purposes of YouTube videos. I can't work off of my actual uh, law firm one because it has client names. So I created this separate one for this purposes of these tests. Uh, and then you're going to choose your plan. So just to sort of reorient ourselves, if we go back into Teams, your plan is this your YouTube tasks plan and your YouTube testing channel. So we will click on plan ID and then you'll see YouTube tasks plan. Easy enough. So this first one is complete. User profile. So this is a little bit cryptic, but what it's asking is which user do you want to send the email to? And this text box what it is saying, it's you can't actually open it all the way, but what it what it's doing is it's saying the person that created the task is the one that wants to get the email notification. So the, the creator, which is usually going to be the owner or the manager, is the one whose information we're gonna to pull to send the email. 
So then this next one down is asking, okay, what kind of email notification do you want? So you can create your, your, your email subject. Let's just call it task complete in my playground. And then this is saying, this is just pulling the ID and the uh, task title. And, and honestly, you can just delete this. It's not terribly, you don't really need to see the plan, the plan ID unless you want to. It's totally up to you. Uh, and then it's going to say who it was completed by. And then the task name. And then the last section that you need is this post a message. So honestly, you could probably not do these if you don't want emails. You could not do this if you don't use posts. You know, this is doing it to both places. But if you only need one or the other, just use the one you need. You can just you just remove them. So this is going to ask us, where do you want to post the message? And again, this is asking which group and which plan or which channel now instead of plan. So if you're a team, and then I, again, I got a lot of groups, apparently only two teams. That's nice. Uh, we're going to post it to Adam's Playground. And then the channel is going to be our YouTube testing channel. And the message is just going to have, it's just going to say task complete. Again, you can modify this with a smiley face. I don't know. What, whatever you want to add here, this is all custom. This is just the default, which is just going to say which planet it was in, the title uh, of the task, and then it'll say who's completed by. So it's going to mirror the email. So let's save it and then give it a second. And then we'll test it. Okay, so it says we recommend you test it. That's smart, Microsoft. Let's test it. So you're going to go up in the upper right, hit test. And then we're going to do a manual test. And then we're going to hit test. So now we're going to say, now it says to see it work now, complete a, ta a, a task. So let's go into Teams. We're going to, let's make a new task. Let's just call it Hi YouTube. I'll assign it to myself, doesn't matter. Create the task. And then we will complete it. Go back into here. And then give it a second. It Once it realizes a task has been complete, it will say your flow has run successfully. And then this is your details to see if you need to do any troubleshooting. So it's going to say, what did it get the right channel? Yes, it did. It obviously had to have because it ran. User profile is going to have... Well, okay, I probably don't want to share that. I uh, That's going to be my user profile to my email, which you're going to see here in a second. It's going to pop up. We're going to get an email notification. And then also it's going to, right here, you're going to see it's going to say post a message. So I just heard my cell phone chime, which means my desktop will chime here in a second with that email. But let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in Teams. So we're going to go back to the posts. And then here it is, task completed. See, I modified and added a little smiley face. Task ID, again, I think you can just hide this. It doesn't doesn't mean anything. The task title was Hi YouTube, and then who it was completed by was Adam. And you, you see that I got an email, and then here you go, task completed. Again, task ID, you can probably just delete that. Task title, and then completed by. So let's just clean this up a little bit just to show you what it would look like without that sort of extra text. So we're going to just delete the... Uh, Task ID. So it's not really necessary. Let's add some dashes so that it's a little cleaner looking. And then same thing here. We're going to delete the task ID, add some dashes. Because it's, it's a little harder to read in its current form. We're going to save it again. Test. Manual. Go back into Teams. Let's call this one YouTube with Dashes. And then we'll complete it. Wait here for a second. Wait for it to discover that we have, in, in fact, completed a task. Your flow ran successfully. And then you're going to see... Let's go to Teams first, since that one loads faster. You're going to see in posts, task completed. And we got some little dashes now. Task title, YouTube with dashes. So that really that really is it. That's, that's all you need to know how to do this in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> so hopefully this was useful.
I oh I got my email, I think. There it is. Look at that. Got some clean dashes. It's a lot easier to read. And uh, you see it's it's got a subject line, task completed, and then it's my playground. I I will say there there is a pretty big con with this. So if you are one of those people that creates a new plan for every channel, which actually is the way I do it. I, and that's to allow me to more easily see which ones of our, our cases are going slow because our channels are our client names. And then we have basically a task list that lives within each client name. I, if you create a separate task list for each one of your clients or each one of your channels, you will be forced into creating a new flow for each one of those channels or each one of those task lists for each one of those channels. So that is pretty obnoxious. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's pretty annoying. Uh, it's cumbersome, but if you're one of those people that really wants notifications in every channel, you can save, you can actually just share this uh, or make a copy and then just, all you have to do is change. So let's just say I want it in client one as well. You can just share it. Eh, or whatever, make a copy. Anyway, uh, what you would do is you'd make a copy of it, and uh, apparently it's not as easy to do from the screen as I thought it was. I thought I could just click the link. Uh, but you would make the, a copy of it, and then all you have to do is change the... I'll show, you which, I'll show you which fields you have to change. So you would change these fields and these fields. That's it. Just, just these four fields. You just... Well, actually, it's just the two fields. You just change the plan ID and the channel, and then you'd be done. Uh, so you can do it if you have, like, 80, 90 channels. Pretty obnoxious, but absolutely doable if this is something that you need to uh, stay on top of what you're assigning to your teammates. Okay, I hope this video was helpful. I, I said it was a quick one, so it took a little longer than I thought just because it, it is a little bit uh, click-intensive. You have to sort of explain what each one of these boxes are. Hopefully that made sense. If you want more content like this, let me know. I am now living with our law firm more in the uh, Microsoft uh, backend because actually a lot this stuff works really well. Uh, Microsoft doesn't really advertise any of this, really, uh, and it, it's pretty fantastic. And it integrates with Office, integrate or well, I guess it is Office integrates with Word, Excel, uh, SharePoint being the backend. So I'm going to make some more videos on other ways to automate these things and how to better use Teams and planners and tasks in SharePoint. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have questions, let me know. If you have a topic that's related to this regarding automations, let me know. I'd be happy to cover it. All right. Thanks. Bye.